Ah, yeah. Right, let's look at this book. L Blazer. Well, the last thing that we need right now in the Western world, in my opinion, is more white knighting and sticking women on um, virtuous pedestals of moral excellence and less self hatred um, directed at um, straight white males. So that's one, two things I don't want to read in the comic book today. Don't want to read about um, women being perfect. And I don't want to read about men being, uh, particularly straight white men, is my own personal bias. I don't want to read about them being useless, self-hating, alcoholic, self-destructive, but cool bad guys. Don't need that anymore. That's a 1990s thing. Particularly the, the, the latter point about men being full of self-hatred. That's a Nirvana grunge scene thing with um, Alice in Chains. And all the people who committed suicide, basically. So we don't want that in the culture anymore. It's, it's, it's poisonous. We need uh, men and women to um, reconnect with each other. And um, the men to leave the, the self-hatred aside. Stop putting the women on the pedestal. They're, they're just people like you, let's have a proper relationship and get um, this Western civilization thing going again. Right, that's what we need. Um, what will we get in this comic book? <laughs> um, Hellblazer then. I guess, as Hellblazer, John Constantine is a, it's a kind of character stuck in the 1990s. That theme of um, self-disgust and, and white knighting um, permeates the entire core of the book. I'm not going to do a proper review here, I'll just flip through it and uh, give you a, you know, Sample of what it's all about. It's a, it's a bit gross. We've got Constantine jumping into a, um, a corpse here and interacting with these dwarf characters who are serial killers, right? So, another like 1990s, so year 2000 kind of thing when the serial killer thing was really big, you know, with, with Seven, wasn't it? With, with um, Brad Pitt. So, it's, it's got a very um, dated feel. The book, you know, serial killers, self disgust um, from the straight white males. I guess the, the, uh, you know, the uh, the white knighting for the females thing. That's that's really kicking into gear now with all those Mary Sue characters um, in the cinema. But um, cinema is imploding. Um, at least Harvey Weinstein did something of worth. Then, if um, the exposure of what he was up to is going to destroy cinema, then I won't say it's worth it. But um, at least some good's going to come out of it. And people realise that um, the cinema is a, a fact key more immorality and we need to stop stop funding it as we you know don't fund SJW Marvel anymore, right? Anyway, Constantine um, does a deal with these dwarfs in the in the body to, to save the woman, right? And um, without going into it in too much detail, he, he saves the woman, um, frees her from the uh, the clutches of the of the dwarfs. And I also want to show you the, the end of the book, because that's where I can make some important points here, right? Now, this woman just wants to be um, happy with, with John Constantine, right? Um, as any woman would, would want, really, just to have a nice, happy relationship with a man who, who loves her, and perhaps they can, you know, have some children and live a, a normal life, right? That's what, that's what we should all be aspiring to. <clears throat> but no. Constantine then gives her a, a lengthy um, a white knighting um, speech laced with 1990s grunge um, self-hatred. Listen to this. This comes from Constantine. I did it because all my dabbling into the other side was giving you the excuses you needed to keep on destroying yourself along with me. So if I'm with you, then you um, won't, won't um, reach your, your full potential. What was her full potential? Well, she's a police inspector, so basically a tool of the state is something that we should all be aspiring um, towards. She shouldn't be aspiring towards motherhood and uh, you know, in a, a happy fam, family and traditional life. She should um, leave that aside and just become a, um, a part of the, the multicultural pushing um, system. And I don't know, I guess, target who they're targeting today, the, uh, the great police force of the UK. Wow. Well, I know it's not um, the real problematic areas in this country. They're, they're targeting um, 
supposedly right wing groups, and a right wing group is just anyone who's um, a, um, against the mass is Islamification of the UK. So if you're a police inspector working um, for the system today in the UK, you're not brave, you're not a hero, you're just um, um, working against the interests of the indigenous people of the UK and um, doing whatever the government tells you to do. It doesn't matter if it's a Tory government or a Labour government, they've all got the same immigration policies and this Brexit thing is going to be watered down and they're going to keep the borders open and we see this agenda all over Europe. And it's, it's not going to be any different in, in, in the UK because all the political parties are on the same postage stamp of um, multicultural consensus. So if you're a police inspector, you haven't got your own mind. It's nothing about morality. You put the uniform on and your, your own personal um, morality it doesn't become an issue anymore. You, you follow orders, you do what you're told, and if you do, you get promoted. All right. Anyway, so I think I've um, laboured that point a little bit. What I'm saying here is that this, this lady, right, rather than being a, a, a traditional um, mother and wife, is going to be serving the, the, the multicultural system now. And that's what um, John Constantine wants her to do. I'll continue reading his speech here. Right, here we go. <sighs> Back then, you were young and optimistic. You loved and appreciated people, and you liked to show it. A bit of white knight in there. Put on the woman on the pedestal. You'd see some little thing at the newsagent, or whatnot, that made you think of someone. All about the feelings. She just cares about people so much. Um, so you'd buy it even if you were dead broke, even it were, if it was useless and destined for the dustbin. You were just so excited to give things. So she just wants to give. She's so loving. Once you got me this little stuffed wizard, it cost 10 quid. You were still in Academy. That's the police Academy. You had to skip lunch that day to get it. Oh, she's self-sacrificing, so she's such a good, kind-hearted person. So why is she working for the police? I was looking at this thing, his leering, stupid face, his uselessness, his utter disposability, and it reminds me of you. Your blind decency and devotion. Oh, lift her on that pedestal. It disgusted me, Margaret. That's why I walked out. After all this time, you thought deep down I was a good man. But the fact is, love, some things are all in your imagination. And off he walks to um, Chris Cornell himself, I guess, uh, while she's crying in the background because she's never going to have children. She's never going to be um, a wife or mother. She's going to have to put a uniform on and go back and work for the police and do whatever that uh, multicultural um, pushing government tells her to do and guess feel good because career I guess so that's what um, we should all be aspiring to today in the West have the uh, straight white males full of self-disgust and the women childless um, but with the career to, to comfort them as they um, lurch into old age and um, empty house regret Wow, it's a very 1990s comic, isn't it? But it still does play into what's happening in the world today. The grunge people always made self-disgust look cool. And Constantine, with his love and his cigarettes and his alcoholism, is super cool. This is who you want to be, young boys. You want to be John Constantine. You want to be smoking and womanising and full of lacerating self-hatred and disgust. Um, don't be a dad, don't be a husband, don't be a decent moral person because these women who are working as um, agents of the state um, are far too um, too good for you anyway. You don't deserve them. What a message, eh? What a message coming from Hellblazer. And I know it's the, the character of, of the guy, but I um, can't identify with that character at all. So I won't be reading Hellblazer anymore. Perhaps he's just a, a relic of um, of the past, of the useless 1990s, and that um, self-destructive 
generation, which um, gave us some good music, but but nothing else really of of worth, and did a lot of damage to to male and female relationships as as well, right? So, I think um, Don Constantine helped blaze it. If he's gonna be written like that, now it's Tim Seeley writing that book, that uh, needs to be um, um, placed on a shelf in a museum of um, silly things that we did when we were young. I mean, to move on and try to find some more um, positive comic books with better role models, both male and female. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a review, was it? It was a, a typical rant, but um, that's what you get on my channel. And uh, um, cheers for watching. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down. You know, if you don't um, agree with what I'm saying, then give it a thumbs down. You know, it's okay. And um, if you haven't subbed to my channel and you like what I'm saying, then please sub. I'd appreciate it. Um, thanks for spending your time here. How long has it been? Just over 10 minutes. Oh, wow. If you got to the end, I applaud you. Cheers. I'll be back later. Um, take care, everyone.